Good day, my name is Lebogeng Libinwani and I hope you're well. I'd just like to share a quick word with you as we are wrapping up 2022. Just a few things that I um, I received several weeks ago, but I still feel like this might be help- helpful to somebody. So I thought to share it. Um, just got a really strong sense several weeks ago that the season we are coming out of, the season we've been in, is a season where God had given us time to set things in order you know to kind of set your house in order especially in line with those things that god may have spoken to you about with regards to what he's calling you to do the places he's calling you into and so i remember at the beginning of the year in fact at the end of last year the spirit of god saying it's important to set structures in place to put structures in place avail vessels into which God can pour because one of the things he said was that wealth flows into into structure anything of substance really flows into structure and that it was important for us to avail structures for him to be able to pour into as far as whatever God has called you to do of course whatever um, you sensed God whatever areas you sensed him leading you into and so it felt like as we are coming to the um, end of 2022 you still have like a window period i remember several weeks ago i think this was in the first week of november god was speaking to me about how there's going to be a clear distinction um in terms of just the year ending or a season ending and another season starting at the end of february of 2023 there's just going to be a very clear distinction there so um you know i got the sense that until that time we still have this window period to kind of wrap things up if there's certain things you needed to have in place you still have time to get those things in place of course um you know let's not get carried away with um you know the end of the year and just let go of everything whatever you are still able to do before the year ends my encouragement is continue and do it but you still have a window until this um end of 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 feb and there's a actually um a, um a teaching where i shared this in detail i'll drop the link for that in this uh, with this post so i just wanted to share that so ensure that you've got everything that you know um you had to have done avail those structures those uh, 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 um, systems in place put the foundational things in place and then um it's also important to be aware of this and this is something that has kind of already started we've been experiencing um some bouts of this here and there and i believe that as we become intentionally aware of it and just press into it we're going to experience more and more of the supernatural wave um, of activity and as well just miraculous things taking place in this season the other thing as well was that in this period you know december well obviously i got this in november but december january february um even moving into march there's really going to be a strong sense of supernatural activity miraculous things taking place so be um conscious of that be aware of it tap into it um you know make sure that this is something you take advantage of because this is something god has availed to all of us for a reason and for a purpose um yeah we're getting lots of of testimonies because i want to keep this very short i'm not going to get into detail about that um but just it's something that you want to be to be able to tap into and then there's two other things and i'll probably share another video um in more detail at a later stage probably in the early days of of 2023 But there's something uh, the Spirit of God has been impressing in my heart very strongly about 2023 where finances are concerned and the word collapse, collapse, collapse kept coming up. So you just also want to make sure that whatever 
um, your finance, your financial portfolio looks like as far as your finances are concerned. You want to make sure that you've got things in place, you know, um, pray, seek God, hear what God is saying about what you need to be doing as far as your finances are concerned, because there's certain things that are just going to take place in 2023 that are going to require um, that you should have had things in place now you know and even in the early months of the year so that also has to do with that clear distinction that's coming in between uh, february and march and then the last thing is if you are in south africa and you are in the education space in any shape size or form in any way really um it's important for you as well to really make sure that your papers are in place you know the things that um you are doing are in place like your documents anything that is that requires documentation as far as that's concerned it's going to be very important for you to make sure that you've got all your papers your documentation in place i'm going to share a, a lot more about this but there's a, a, um, i've got a sense that something is going to be happening in um 2023 around june with the south african education system that kind of requires you to really be well aligned as far as that is concerned i hope this is helpful and um have a great uh, rest of the year we look forward to seeing you in 2023 and also just to experiencing a lot of the things that god has in store for us have a great one bye, -bye.